In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at setting up the flying movement mode, which is included with your character movement component, and you could use this for something like a jetpack. So to begin with, I'm going to just open up my first person character blueprint, and we're just going to take a look at the character movement component. So let's just left click it here, and on the details panel on the right, you can see you have access to a default land movement mode. And if you drop this down, you can see the different selections you have here, and one of them is called flying. But I'm going to leave mine as walking for the time being. I'm going to set it up so when I press F I'm going to activate the flying mode. So I'm just going to right click and type in set movement mode and we can choose flying. And I'm just going to hit Control W on this function and just connect the character movement up again and set this back to walking and then just use a flip flop so we can create a toggle between these two states. Okay and I'm just going to jump in the game and show you what happens. If I jump in the air and press F I'm now in a flying mode, I can move backwards and forwards and left and right, I can't move up and down. So we're going to be taking a look at how to add in the up and down movement. So let's just jump back into the character blueprint and take a look at the movement input setup just here. So you have a get active forward vector which is controlling the backwards and forwards movement, a get right vector which is controlling the left and right movement and we're going to use a get actor up vector for the up and down movement. And we'll drag this out and type in add movement input and now we just need an input axis event that will drive the scale value just like how these are set up here so I'm just going to go to my edit and then project settings input drop down axis mappings and create a new one uh, we can call this something like move up and I'm just going to use Q and then add in another key here and then Z and change the scale value to negative 1 for the Z to go back down basically and I'm just going to right click here and type in move up to grab that event the axis event and we can connect the axis value up to the scale value and just connect the execution pins together let's connect that up there like that and now we can jump in the game and see the results so I can jump in the air and press F to activate the jetpack and I can control my up and down movement with Q and Z and that's all there is to it really you can see that we have a basic jetpack working which we can toggle with F so thanks for checking this tutorial out and I really hope it helps.